What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Liverpool Leicester City post-match analysis video and Liverpool were absolutely shocking in the first half and we absolutely should have probably lost this game especially on the first half performance but Fires becomes the fourth player in Premier League history to score two own goals in one game and Jamie Carragher scored two own goals against Manchester United back in 1999 if you remember that if you are old enough uh, I don't didn't see that game but uh, I remember watching the highlights of that uh, after like many years later but Liverpool were absolutely a bag of nerves at the back and Leicester City should have scored so many more goals uh, than they did and the Dewsbury hole just walked through the entire Liverpool defense it was like uh, you were you are playing FIFA and you press the offside trap button at the wrong time Time and the whole defense pushes up and the striker just walks through unopposed and he slots it home and at that moment Liverpool looked like a nervous wreck especially Joao Matip who usually is so calm cool and composed in front of uh, like uh, the Allison. he since Oli Watkins uh, was running at him against Aston Villa he looks like a much more nervous player and I really think we need Konate back very very soon because Joao Matip uh, is not on a form at the moment uh, and I think uh, you know the Robertson injury is also very concerning Harvey Elliott also suffered an injury and I think that Liverpool were absolutely atrocious even Virgil van Dijk said that we were very very poor but that's the mark of a very good team that you can even win the game when you are absolutely shocking and I think uh, some people were questioning Fires was he match fixing because especially the first own goal is like such a flu goal it's one of the most ridiculous one of the most incredible own goals that you will ever see you will see uh, bloopers of that goal that own goal and the second own goal for years for decades to come it's one of the most embarrassing most incredibly lucky own goal from a Liverpool perspective that you will ever see in Premier League history it's an absolute fluke and I don't understand what he was thinking because the ball was going to the goalkeeper and he slices it loops over the goalkeeper and into the far corner and then the second on goal Darwin Nunez should have scored that so Darwin Nunez race is clear he lobs the goalkeeper and it cannons back off the post and fires instead of booting it out for a corner he slots it home into his own net into the roof of his own net it was a brilliant finish top quarter it's absolutely ridiculous Leicester scored three goals and Liverpool won the game 2-1 it's mind-blowing honestly it's like the stuff of uh, like uh honestly comedy shows this game the second half Liverpool were miles better than in the first I think Jurgen Klopp had some very strong stern words to uh, the Liverpool players uh, Thiago was I think Liverpool's best player today he was absolutely brilliant and he won so many fouls in the second half to slow the game down to gain to take the momentum away from uh, Leicester City and Darwin Nunez is erratic finishing is a really big concern because he should have scored a hat-trick today once again just like against Aston Villa and against Man City he should have scored like five or six goals in these three games and uh, Darwin Nunez really needs to compose himself because uh, sooner or later Liverpool will drop big big points in the Premier League which could cost them the top four place and I don't really know what to make of this performance yes Liverpool are having a lot of injury problems but you can't only blame injuries for these really erratic defensively shockingly bad performances uh, you know Henderson was again back to his uh, first half of the season shocking self uh, also Robertson's injury is a big concern he had to go off in the first half Timikas came on Elliot is hopefully just a knock Darwin Nunez was a threat but he's not slotting the chances home he's not executing it uh, Thiago shut the game down when uh, Leicester started to have some big chances in uh, the second half uh, Liverpool were much better and we were much more dangerous Mo Salah scored a brilliant goal which was ruled out for offside the Leicester City defender smashes it into Salah and it uh, falls to Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain who very unselfishly tees up Salah who rifles it home and the second Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain pass uh, to Salah is not offside Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain was offside when the defender smashes it into Salah and Ox is just a good yard ahead of Salah at that moment 
so the linesman rightfully flagged offside. Ed was very unlucky because Salah also missed some big chances. All the forwards like Nunez, Salah and even Oxley chamberlain I mean Oxley chamberlain is another left winger and I think this Liverpool team is crying out for Diogo Jota. If Jota was fit, he would start ahead of Nunez. When Nunez is in such bad form, Jota would play and Jota would score a lot of these chances that Darwin Nunez is missing right now. Of course, Jota is further ahead in his development. And also, Nunez is a threat, uh, but he's not uh, scoring his chances. Thiago buying fouls and, uh, and also fouling Leicester players to end counters was such a smart move. I'm really concerned about Matip's form, but thankfully Konate is back and hopefully Konate will start against Brentford. And by the way, Brentford went to the London Stadium to West Ham away from home and they won 2-0 in a very commanding performance. They kept a clean sheet, Ivan Tony scored and assisted, so Brentford will be well up for the Brentford Liverpool game on uh, like January the 2nd and Brentford remember they were 2 nil up against Tottenham and they uh, that game ended in 2-2 so Brentford started with four points after two games so that will be another big big test for Liverpool now we have uh, two days rest hopefully the Liverpool players will recover but you know uh, Tsimikas uh, will play a lot of games now that Robertson is out injured and uh, I really really hope that Darwin has hits for because without him scoring it's all on Salah nobody else is really scoring apart from the Leicester City centre-back I mean when, Liverpool can't rely on uh, on that uh, happening anytime soon because uh, ne Liverpool don't usually like uh, get own goals uh, scored against the like Liverpool uh, for, for Liverpool own goals scored by the other team you know what I mean so that usually never happens I don't remember any season where we had two own goals scored against us in the whole season. Not, never mind in one game, in like seven or eight minutes, uh, Fires, who is normally, by the way, a brilliant centre back, and this one will definitely knock his confidence down, but otherwise, he is a really, really uh, awesome, smart, uh, very, very good up and coming young defender. I think he's from Belgium and he was in the World Cup squad of Belgium, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, you shouldn't judge him on based on, on this game alone. But that first goal, goal, I just can't get my head around it. It's such a, one of the most bizarre, one of the most incredible, insane, mind-blowing own goals that you will ever see. It's an absolutely incredible own goal, honestly. And Darwin Nunez is just uh, having one of those spells. You know, as a striker, it happens that uh, you don't score for five or six games and then one goal will go in off your backside and then you will go on a mad scoring run. That's how football works sometimes in mysterious ways. Darwin Nunez just needs to keep playing, needs to keep plugging away and hopefully, hopefully it will soon click, hopefully against Brentford. I'm really, really hoping that Darwin Nunez will come good. We just, he just can't keep missing chances in every game because sooner or later his confidence will start going down but I will only be worried when Darwin Nunez stops getting chances because when he's creating and getting so many chances it's inevitable it's a game of numbers football it's inevitable that sooner or later he will start scoring he already has nine goals in total this season five goals in the Premier League I think uh, so it's not a bad total uh, goal tally of nine goals in this early in the season so I think Darwin Nunez will come good I'm really convinced of that. Uh, Liverpool at the moment are still in sixth place, but we are now only one point behind Man United. Yes, Man United have a game in hand, and we are actually just uh, itching, inching towards uh, you know the top four. At the moment, we are one point behind Tottenham, uh, and uh, no, sorry, two points behind Tottenham, uh, and we played the same amount of games as Tottenham. So this is why. It was really, really crucial to, for Liverpool to win this game. We are one point behind Man United, but they, we played one game more. And, uh, you know, there will be some very interesting fixtures coming up, especially the Arsenal-Newcastle uh, game coming up. And also Arsenal will play Brighton. Those will be two really big tests for Arsenal. Liverpool play Brentford and then after that we play Wolves in the FA Cup and uh, after Brentford we play Brighton away, Chelsea at home, Wolves away, Everton at home, 
Newcastle away. So that's five very, very tough fixtures. Uh, maybe the Wolves uh, game um, is um, on paper a little bit less tough, but Brighton away, Brentford away, you know, Chelsea at home, Newcastle away, those are very, very tough fixtures for Liverpool. So Liverpool really need to sort their defending out as soon as possible, because otherwise uh, we will drop a lot of points in these next six game weeks. Hopefully Cody Gakpo can come in. I think this t team is really crying out for Cody Gakpo right now because Alex Osechemer is not a left winger. He's just almost useless there. He didn't really offer anything. He lost the ball so many times. So Liverpool really need Cody Gakpo, I think, on the left wing. And I really think that Cody Gakpo should start against Brentford. With him, Nunez and Salah up front, we will have bags of pace and we will score loads of goals if Cody Gakpo hits the ground running like he uh, did at the World Cup. And if Cody Gakpo plays anything like he played for PSV Eindhoven and Liverpool are in for a one hell of a ride in the second half of the season, we can just uh, learn from this game uh, when uh, we won it. It's always better to learn from a game when you have won it. If you lose it and you have to learn from that, that's always a lot tougher. Let me know what you think of the game, of the Liverpool's performance, and thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Good night.